Hi friends, welcome to our channel. In this session, we will discuss disjoint sets. What do you mean by disjoint sets? Consider any two sets S1 and S2 such that there is no common element. There is no common element between the two sets. Then the sets are called disjoint sets. That means simply S1 intersection S2 is equal to 5. Such sets are called disjoint sets. On disjoint sets, we are mainly perform two operations. The first one is simple union operation. Second one is simple find operation. Now we will discuss each of these two operations. First we will move to simple union operation. You know the meaning of union. Suppose S1 is one set, union, S2 is another set. After performing union operation, the result contains all the available elements of both S1 and S2. Simply it combines the two sets together as a single set. That is union operation. Now, if you want to implement disjoint sets, Compulsory the sets has to be represented in memory. Compulsory the sets are to be stored in memory. To store disjoint sets in memory, tree data structure is used. A tree structure is used to represent disjoint sets in memory. Now, among all the elements, we have many number of elements. One element, any element that is your choice. Any one element is considered as set representative element. The name specify what do you mean by representative? The parent node of the entire tree. One element is considered as the set representative element. Suppose S1 is equal to 1 comma 2 3. S2 is equal to 4 5. Now S1 union S2 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. This is the union operation. We are using tree structure and one element is considered as a set representative element. And then I will explain the procedure. How to perform the union operation. So, a procedure to perform union operation initially every element is considered as a separate tree for example we have assumed five elements each five elements are assumed as five trees all the elements are considered as a separate tree now for each and every node we have to maintain P of I value. Each and every node has to maintain P of I value. What do you mean by P of I? P of I specifies the parent of node I. P of I specifies the parent of node I. For root node, the root node, the P of I value is equal to minus 1. That means, for root node, that is the parent node. For that node, there is root node node. That is the reason for root node, the parent value is equal to minus 1. And after performing union, after performing union, update P of I values. We have to update P of I values. This is the procedure we have to follow to perform union operation. Now I will explain this procedure with some example. Okay. Consider some set of elements 1, 2, 6. Initial step is 1 is a tree, 2 is a tree, 3, 4, 5, 6. All are considered as different trees. All are considered as different trees. What is my procedure? Step by step. Step by step perform merge operation. So, first we have to perform, assume union of 1 comma 2. 1 is the root node, 
2 is the chilled node along with union operation here i 1 2 3 4 5 6 these are the six nodes here i am writing p of i value what do you mean by p of i parent of node i so see this one whenever we are performing union between 1 and 2 1 is the root node for root node i for root of 1 the value is minus 1 for node 2 that is the first 2 1 2 6 represents nodes here these are represents the parents for node 2 who is the parent the parent is 1 suppose if you are merging like this 4 and 3 the order is not at all important that is simply union of 4 comma 3 for this for this 4 is the root node for root node the value is minus 1 for 3 the parent of 3 is 4 suppose if you make 5 and then 6 that is the operation is union of 5 comma 6 simply the parent node is written first parameter child is written as a second parameter so 5 is the root node minus 1 the parent of 6 is 5 this is the first union here you can perform union operation repeatedly until until only a single subtree is formed suppose now i am performing union of 1 comma 4 that means this tree is combined with this tree these two trees are combined together the answer is 1 2 4 3 what it 4 3 this tree is union with this tree now after this union i am updating p of i value observe after each and every union you have to update p of i value now 1 is the root node minus 1 for 2 what is the parent 1 for node 3 who is the parent 4 for node 4 who is the parent 1 see this one it is updated it is updated node 5 and 6 are not at all updated okay now perform union of this tree is union with this tree so here the root node is 1 here the root node is 5 perform union operation suppose the tree becomes 1 2 4 3 5 and then 6 like this we are performing the union so again update the p of i value for root node for this not changed minus 1 1 4 1 for node 5 the parent node is 1 for node 6 the parent node is 5 this is the way to perform union operation so okay i think you got it each and every time you have to update p of i value so simply here now I will explain the algorithm. The algorithm is almost the same. Algorithm simple union of simple union of i comma j. So i comma j like this like this one comma j. In this algorithm we are writing simply. P of J is equal to I. What is the meaning of this one? In this 1 comma 2, the parent of 2 is 1. That means the parent of J is I. This is the simple union operation. Simple union operation. Okay. What is the time complexity? Time complexity means you have to perform some union operations. Assume you have a total of n sets, you have a total of n sets, then you required n minus 1 unions. We have two sets. How many unions required? One union. If you have three sets, how many unions required? One, two unions. So if you have a total of n sets, n minus 1 union operations are performed. So the time complexity is big O of n. Okay, this is the simple union operation. Remember the simple union. Now I will go to the simple find operation. The simple 
find the operation so the name specify the find in the says it searches for an element in the set it searches for an element in the set if the element is available remember the thing if the element is available then it returns not that particular element then it returns the set representative got it if an element is available then it returns the set representative for example the meaning is 1 2 3 4 So we are searching for an element four. If four is available, what is the answer? The set representative is one. One is returned. The set representative one. One is returned. Now I will write down the algorithm, and you will clearly understand algorithm find of i. Algorithm find of i. Now for searching for an element i, searching for an element i. while p of i value is greater than or equal to 0 then i is equal to p of i this is the loop after that you have to return i see this one what happens suppose 1 2 3 4 these are the i values these are p of i values for one the value is minus 1 for two the value is 1 for 3 the value is 1 for 4 the value is equal to 3 like this for example we have some other thing 5 for 5 the value is equal to 1 now if you want to search for an element 4 i value is equal to 4 p of 4 what do you mean by p of 4 p of 4 value is equal to 3 3 greater than or equal to 0 that means simply we are checking whether the direct parent is a set representative or not so for 4 the parent is 3 if the parent value is 3 then i am updating the operation i is equal to p of i so now what is i value i becomes 3 actually 3 i becomes 3 now repeat the loop p of 3 greater than or equal to 0 yes p of 3 value is equal to 1 1 greater than or equal to 0 the condition is true now i is equal to p of 3 now i value becomes 1 next iteration 1 greater than or equal to not 1 p of 1 p of 1 in the sense minus 1 minus 1 greater than or equal to 0 condition fail Once the condition failed, we comes out of the loop. Return y value. Up to now, what is y value? One. So observe, one is the set representative element. You got it. The simple logic here is search for that particular element based on that element. We are moving their parent, their parent, their parent until set representative is available. Set representative is available. so here the find algorithm mainly depends on the height of a tree right if the height is equal to n the time complexity is big o of n the time complexity is big o of n not only this one the algorithm is repeated multiple number of times first we have to find find of 4 find of 3 find of 2 find of 1 and so on the find operation is repeated n number of times so obviously the time complexity is for each single find operation remember for find of 4 it requires big o of n for find of 3 it requires big o of n for find of 1 it requires big o of n that means you have to find three find operations in the worst case you have to find n find operations so the time complexity is equal to big o of n square big o of n square finally we discussed simple union and then simple find operation again to increase the performance or efficiency of this union and find operation we are moving into weighted union union is converted into weighted union and 
collapsing fine these two are the techniques that are used to increase the efficiency of the union and find operation so in the next session we will discuss this weighted union and collapsing fine